behind a blistering shooting effort from Larissa Lurk and Park of Cottage Grove rolled past Pine Island 76-46 in the opening game of the Breakdown Tip-Off Classic at Hopkins Lindbergh Center. Lurkin finished with 31 points, hitting six three-pointers. Obviously feeling it pretty early in the morning. Is it different getting up for a game at 10 a.m.? Yeah, it's definitely different getting up at 10, but um, I mean, I just kept the same determination that I have like, at, as a night game. And it was definitely different. I've never done something like this, but I, felt, I thought maybe like it's a new challenge, and so I was up for the challenge. So was, you feel pretty good once the first one went in? Did you kind of know that it was going to be your day? Oh, yeah. When I, when I shoot my first shot and it goes in, I, I get pretty excited. And I don't know, it gives me confidence that I can, I can shoot more and, and um, I'll have a good game. So, yeah, it was really exciting. I think I did pretty good, so I'm really happy about that. How about your team this year? Are you pleased with the way it's, your season has started so far? Uh, oh yeah, we've had two games so far and we've beat both teams by like 30 or 40 or even 50 actually. Um, so we're having a great start to the season and I think our, just main, our main thing is just keeping our head up and, and being determined to go to state is really our, really, really our main goal uh, this year. So I think we can get there if we keep it up because we're doing pretty good. Last question then. Sense of pride for you guys? You know, it's, it's, it's kind of risen up the ladder over these last couple of years, you know, and you started not too many wins a few years back. Is there a sense of pride being part of that group that's Definitely. brought that success? Yeah, um, I've been really happy to be a part of the success that we have gotten, and just every year we just keep getting better and better, even though we lose a couple seniors, we still, we have role players that are coming in and helping our upperclassmen, and so it feels amazing to be a part of something like this, and it's been a great experience.